Hey guys, what's up? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the love reading this week for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the Cross Watcher. You guys know the drill. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to reverse the roles. If nothing resonates at all in your sun sign, definitely check my readings for your other placements. And if those don't resonate, feel free to check out the older readings. Um, the description box has where you can follow me on different social media platforms where you can donate to my channel or you can do things like buy me a coffee if you want to say thanks. Um, there's also links to projects I'm involved in, people I support, and a lot of the cards I'm using in the readings in case you guys are in a tarot and you want to buy your own decks. Um, but last but not least, guys, if any of this does resonate you, for you, please show your girls some love. Don't forget to comment. Uh, down below because I love talking to you definitely subscribe share it out like it all right it helps to grow my channel um, and get the messages to people who really might need to hear them okay um, so with that said it's great to be back I I got the I got the bug I got the bug y'all it took two years and a few months but it finally I finally got it um, I'm on the other side of it thank God I am still a little bit congested and coughing so please do forgive me if I'm a little sniffly and and coffee all right speaking of coffee guess who hasn't had coffee in eight days me I can't even believe that I'm actually still okay like I don't know how I'm functioning in the world I'm just out here like an orphan all by myself I don't know what to do <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> All right, but let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay, talk to me, spirit. Talk to me about what's going on with Aries in Aries' love life, their significant other. Okay, I just saw the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's back and forth about reconciliation, maybe. All right. All right. Give me the overall energy between uh, Aries and their person, actually. <clears throat> mm, page of cups okay so I feel like this is a baby step in my guides say the right direction I feel like this is a baby step in the right direction there seems to be some sort of apology or healing going on in this connection overall okay and because it's a page I get this vibe of like maybe trying to make a love offer to you or start over again all right Aries <clears throat> let's talk about what's going on around the connection in and around in the connection please queen of cups there like i said again here is compassion forgiveness loving healing okay so i'm getting a lot of energy of um maybe some type of reconciliation so i'm not surprised i saw the six of cups here let's see how your person's feeling right now how is Aries person feeling right now? <clears throat> Knight of Swords. I get the sense of feeling panicked. Do you see how this Knight of Swords is running toward this queen? Okay. A lot of, a lot of people and personalities involved already in this. And I get the sense that somebody is like, you know, your person's like rushing in or rushing back to maybe try to save the connection here in some sort of way, Aries, because I'm getting sadness. All right. If this isn't you, then it's your person. All right. Queen of Cups. That's why we say reverse it if it applies to you, because this may be, you know, um, I may say your person, but this could be you energetically. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting somebody who's feeling a little bit like, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose Aries and they're running back to you. Okay. What's this person's hidden energy? What are they not telling Aries? What are they hiding energetically from Aries, please? The devil. Oh, shucks. Okay. So a Capricorn energy here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I have uh, a lot of water out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be your person or one of their placements here. So I feel like what they're hiding is that this person could feel very codependent on you or, um, addicted right like there's some sort of connection that might they could be toxic or they're feeling this connection with you that doesn't necessarily feel healthy okay 
Now let's see what the challenge is for you, Aries. What's the challenge for Aries, please? <clears throat> the hangman feeling stuck, okay? And the hangman also uh, Pisces energy, okay? Again, so that water energy. The hangman talks about, um, you know, having the space to make a wise decision when it comes to releasing things, okay? So this could be a challenge maybe for you as well, Aries. It looks like, you know, you may be, maybe you're the one releasing something and this person is just toxically connected to you in their own way. Makes sense? Like they are codependent on you for whatever reason, okay? I don't know, but this, I get the sense that this is making you sad and we're going to clarify. So stay with me. All right, guys, because, because it's going to get juicy. All right. What's this person's next moves towards Aries, please? Yeah, they want to come see you. They want to communicate with you. Okay. They might travel to see you. If you're seeing somebody at a distance, that's eight of wands. You could be dealing with somebody at a distance, but this is hot and heavy communication, okay? It's doing things with fervor. It's doing it really fast, right? Just rushing in. They want to reconcile with you because this person, I don't know that they miss you if you're at a distance from this person, but I feel distance between the two of you, if that makes sense, Aries, okay? This feels more to me like, I'm not going to lie. I I'm going to say this straight up. I feel like some of you might be dealing with somebody who's very manipulative and they kind of emotionally manipulate you, get you to think about the past, you know, all the good things that we did together, Aries, you know, why would you do that to us? But this is a, a toxic trait about this person. Okay. Because I feel this control, this need to control. Okay. I'm just getting that energetically. Take it as it resonates. All right. What's the potential outcome of this? What's the potential outcome? But I feel like this person, they want to rush back towards you, okay? Because they do want reconciliation and they have a lot that they want to say. Okay. <clears throat> potential outcome, strength in reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Somebody's not very hopeful, Okay, but we're going to talk about this in a second. All right, give me some advice here, please. What's the advice for Aries regarding this situation? Potential advice. They don't have to take it. Ugh. Oh, geez. Okay. We'll talk about that in a second, too, because that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. So you might be feeling really guarded right now, okay? And I get that you're dealing with somebody who could be very possessive as well, Aries, all right? I already am just like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this person, <laughs> okay? So let's see why we have the Page of Cups as the overall juju for this reading. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Clarify the Page of Cups for me. Okay, something's gotten stale here. I, I feel like you're attempting to reevaluate what can be done in this connection to make it work, but I feel you very disconnected from it with the Four of Cups, okay? Um, I kind of feel like this person might be approaching you, like, you know, they want to change they want to take some sort of action to change this, like maybe you're not feeling them anymore. You know what I mean? Maybe you're distant from them, Aries. Maybe you don't really care as much or something like that, okay? You're in a rut. You could be in your own personal kind of, you know, I don't want to say downward spiral, but maybe you're having a little depression. Maybe you're a little bit disconnected from, you know, the, the, person here. Okay. It's easy to do that if somebody is very, if they're being toxic, if they're being too clingy, if they're whatever, you can just be going through your own shit. Okay. So I feel like you guys are probably going through something and somebody wants to change that. They want to take this relationship from being disconnected to more of a connected, uh, relationship. Okay. Why do we have the queen of cups <clears throat> as the energy in and around the connection? Page of Wands in reverse. Um, it's like it, 
it's like things get off the ground, but they never fully like take off all the way. Okay. That's the page of wands in reverse. There's potential, but the potential is never really realized in this connection for some reason. Okay. And I think that you're trying to do the smartest and the wisest thing that you can. And you really, you know, somebody here wants the truth. Do you really feel anything for me or is this all fading away? Like what, what's, what's the vibe here? Okay. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, because you know, the page of wands is somebody who's not very enthusiastic, you know, in the upright, it is very enthusiastic. It's, it's an, enthu it's an enthusiastic new beginning. It's, you know, creative fire, a brand new little start, you know, a first step, but this is like taking a step backwards. And I feel like somebody here could be, you wants to clear, they want clarity on it. What are we doing here? Are we in love or is this just fizzling out? Okay. So I feel like this would be your person approaching you since I feel as though they feel that you could be distant. Like I said, take it as it resonates, guys. Okay. All right. Why do we have the Knight of Swords, please? Why is this person feeling Knight of Swords toward Aries? Why are they feeling Knight of Swords and their feelings toward Aries? Yeah, this person is very happy with you. You make them, um, you make them feel, uh, you know, alive, you know what I'm saying? They they feel really positive about you and being in the, being in the connection with you. A page of pentacles, the sun, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I feel like this person really wants to make a dream a reality with you. Okay. At the end of the day, they do. Right. But there's, they may feel like they have rushed in this connection at some point, but I feel like this is per this person rushing toward you. Okay. Wanting to like, okay, I don't have a lot page of pentacles, but I'm willing to, to give to this, uh, connection with you. I don't want to lose you. Okay. I feel that panic of like, oh my gosh, I can't, you know, I don't want to let Aries get away because Aries makes me so happy. All right. Let's see why they have the devil though as their hidden energy. Why is this devil here? This person might need money from you too, Aries. I, I don't know why that just came up, but it's, you know, because this is a message about finances coming through. Okay. So this person may rely on you for money somehow. Why do we have the devil here, please, as the hidden energy? Okay, um, you're dealing with somebody who has, like, their fantasies are not r real, okay? I think they fantasize. We have the Ace of Cups, uh, and we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? So what I want to say is I feel like this person is very codependent to feel good and feel love in a toxic way. And I, I get the codependency with you. Okay. I get the codependency with you. Now this person, I feel like there's a possibility that they love you, but there's something toxic here. They don't really want any other option here there for them. I just feel like there is no other option for this person. And they don't want you having any other option as well. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. They don't want you to have anybody else. They don't want you with anybody else. It would make this person really, really like I get like crazy or something if they saw you with somebody else. Okay. So it's like they have this delusion going around in their head that there's only one person for you and, and that's them and you're the only person for them okay and regardless of how good or bad this ever gets they're never they never want to lose you make sense okay so yeah not not very good okay it's it's like a toxic codependency thing and i feel like this person really relies on you to feel good about themselves okay so not surprising that you guys 
feel possessed or that this person is very possessive, okay? They don't want you to get away and not in a good way. <laughs> All right, why is the hangman here as the challenge? This is letting go, guys. All right, this is like, you know, this person purposely does this so they can have space and time so they can figure out what the hell it is they really want. Why is the hangman here, please? Yeah, you're not clear. You just think it's a bad idea, okay? But some of you might have a family with this person. Um, you might have to, uh, like, the challenge is, is that some of you may be married. You may have a family. You may have, uh, I don't really see kids. I see two pages. So some of you could have two kids or something like that. But, you know, for you, it's a challenge to let go of this person, maybe because you're more deeply involved in a family type of situation, okay? So, you know, the, the talks don't go very good with this person. I think that they lack understanding of what you maybe want or you really need. Because Aries, I feel like you want to get out of this somehow, okay? You want to leave this situation because you're not, I don't feel you completely happy in it. I think some of you are going through your own personal journey with loving yourself, right? You've become kind of bored and complacent in this particular connection with this person. Okay. But this person ain't given up, right? Why is this eight of wands here with the six of cups? I almost lost it. Y'all. Why is this here as their next moves? <clears throat> yeah. Ten of Wands. Listen, this person, they're not, okay, they can't relax, all right? They're not going to put this to rest. They know they need to leave it go and, like, give it a break, but this person will not give it a break because they want to end the heaviness between the two of you, okay? But this person, instead of feeling like love for some of you, feels probably more like a burden to you eight uh the ten of wands okay so it's like <sighs> they feel really stressed they feel really stressed if you've walked away from this they need to be back with you okay they want to reconcile with you if you guys are like together somehow this person is incredibly stressed they're not giving this a rest at all so it almost feels like you know you can't get breathing room to kind of work on the stuff does that make sense this person just keeps putting things on you and putting things on you Aries okay I, I hopefully that resonates for somebody that's what I'm getting it's like they just keep on and they just keep on and it never ends but the challenge here I feel like is for you to be clear right it's for you to be clear it's for you to figure out what you want because you're not clear here okay and this this is letting go this is releasing yourself out of something okay because you're involved in something that some of you might feel like I don't want to say trapped but you might feel like stifled okay because I feel like this person keeps putting things on you and putting things on you and then you know it's like um like there's like they bring up the memories from the past or something like that and then it keeps you stuck again you know what I mean? How, why would you do that? We've been together, you know, five years, 10 years, whatever it is, you know, even six months or something. This person, it's like they don't know what they would do if they lost you to any degree. Okay. So rather than making everybody happy and allowing this to fully separate, this person's not giving you the opportunity to have space so you can actually heal the connection to see if you both even want to be in it. All right. Okay, why is the potential outcome Ten of Cups strength in reverse? Strength in reverse, yeah, again, not having any confidence in this, okay? You feel like this person is emotionally immature or very self-centered, you know, thinking a lot of themselves. So I feel like, you know, being too soft, I feel almost like Aries 
you know, if you're not careful, you're going to get pushed around back into the relationship with this person after you've left or after you've made a decision that you really want to separate at some point from this. Be careful because this person is very focused on what they want. Okay. They're very incredibly self-centered. Um, and you know, this is like submitting to this person. Okay. So that's, the potential outcome is that you submit to this person and you just try to be happy. You just try to keep everybody else emotionally happy. Okay. And I don't like that for you guys. Like you deserve to be happy. Okay. Now the advice, two of cups, seven of wands, and the two of swords. Okay. This is making a decision that's been really hard that maybe some of you guys have been really stuck in about fighting for some sort of um, soulmate energy here. I don't know if there's another person involved. There could be because I think this is really weird to come out as an advice, but it is also advice to set up your boundaries, protect your heart and to take care of yourself, right? And to find somebody um, if you don't already have a person, okay, let's say because to me that's like indicating another person. If you don't, you know, find that right person that makes you very, very happy inside, right? And to choose that, okay? So very interesting. I just want to get one more card here. Why is this all here, please? Clarify this as advice. Yeah, things have been very one-sided in this connection. I think you might have put a lot of uh, energy and effort into it with justice in reverse. Um, and I feel like I feel like this is about getting a piece of, piece of you back. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you've been so deeply involved in this connection because somebody else just like can't do it without you. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got here, please, for Aries. What else for Aries? <clears throat> Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think you already are doing that separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. Okay. So, uh, I mean, maybe for those of you who want to save this, you're being advised to flirt. Uh, but I feel like you're are, maybe you're already doing that or, you know, you want to meet other people or something, Aries. I feel your distance from this. But the separation is really powerful because that's what we talked about. Either you're separated or there's a need to separate from this. And that's what's making this hard because this person will not let you go. What else do we have here, please, for Aries? I was trying not to go long, but you guys deserve it. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. I feel like that's the road that you're on right now. Okay, Aries, you might be starting to finally recognize that there's something that's not okay about this connection with this person, right? And putting your needs first is what it really feels like. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, that's here. You don't have much confidence that this is going to work out, okay? Because this person is very, very selfish, <coughs> which is strength in reverse, excuse me, Leo energy, okay? Uh, Self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of jealousy or ego issues. Anything else? Anything else, please, for Aries? Yep, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Wow. I mean, come on. Did we nail it today or what, guys? So, yeah, you guys are on your own journey right now. And I think this space is probably going to be good for many of you. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here, Aries. I really do appreciate it. If any of this did resonate, please make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe for your girl. Thank you so much. Bye.